because once I start cutting stuff, everything will be sort of cookie cutter. Now, like I said, they're going to go, this one, this one's going to go all the way to that galley cabinet. That should fit back in here. In last week's video, I began framing out the bench seats. And in this week, I'll continue that task as well as install the drinking water holding right. tank. Very nice. Welcome back. My name's Jax. And I'm taking this Ford E350 cargo van and converting it into an RV. Well, there's been a flurry of activity happening, but there's been a serious lack of filming. <laughs> uh, par for the course, I guess, with me here. Just trying to get things sorted out and finished without having to be, uh, I don't know, sort of just preoccupied with, with the camera and whatever. But at any rate, so <clears throat> this morning... I didn't sleep very well last night because I had a door clearance issue. Um, this was originally I had on the outside, but I reworked it a little bit, got it on the flush here, so we saved an a half an inch, which allows just enough clearance for the, the door hinges, the rollers and stuff. To pass by so that's took a little bit of time I had to rework both of them and then as you can see I've got a little black box it happens to be the refrigerator it's a combination fridge freezer side by sides pretty nice little unit but unfortunately uh, didn't quite fit the hole so after a little bit of head scratching and a couple modifications, it's it's now in a position where it'll slide in and fit. So I had to cheat a little bit on the trim on this side because the door, the door when it opened up for the freezer would hit and would wouldn't open anymore. So instead of a full three quarter, uh, I opted with a quarter inch laminate there just a small little piece so it, it really, really won't at the end of the day you won't really notice it I suppose you probably notice the fact that, that that trim is a little bit narrower than the other side but we'll see how I like it but they're both the same size benches so. and then I just finished cutting the the cover once we get the interior of the cabinet laid out we can figure out where the storage areas are going to go and we can cut some small hatches um, access hatches as opposed to having to lift this whole big piece of plywood up um, all right so we're going to get this other sheet cut
All right, so uh, we got uh, we got some holes filled, some putty. It seems you know nice enough at the moment. Really kind of need those filled. Then we can sand. Then I'm gonna round over the edges, uh, the top anyways. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna round over these. I probably will, but problem is I can't get all the way down to the bottom. Um, so I might just you know camper them with the with the sander, just hit them a little bit. But otherwise, then the next step is, is to mount the three quarter inch piece that's gonna uh, support the bed. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use a use one of these, and we're gonna mount that on there, and that'll be um, one and a half inches down. So that should be should be where the bed is. So yeah, there you go. That's kind of it's kind of the the leg isn't configured properly because this part here gets inset into the floor but you got the one and a half thick thick tabletop butcher block then you've got some flooring so that's going to sit on top of the flooring this is obviously going to be on the top but you can see here we got a nice that's going to be fairly flush there so that'll work out pretty nice um, that's exactly what we were looking for it's not perfect but it's darn close so that'll work out just fine for a bed you're not going to be able to notice that when you're sleeping on it that's how that's going to work but then this like i said we're going to take this one and a half inch trim here we're going to screw that on there and that's what the bed or that's what the tabletop is going to rest on on the sides now you I talked about this having uh, butler hinges so the tabletop is going to have a small section on each side that's going to fold over onto itself so instead of it being as wide as this it'll be half as wide but there'll be a space on each side a little bit of walkway to be able to move in and out um, so at any rate those will be able to, I don't want to be able to take all the weight on the hinges so basically you're gonna it's gonna rest on here so it's gonna have a table leg in the middle and then it's gonna rest on that along the whole edge and so that should be pretty strong when you're in you know full bed mode I mean the reality of it is, is we could probably only do half the table in a cushion just the back cushion in the, in the bed and you're gonna have a heck of a place to sleep there anyway so We'll see how it folds out and plans out once we get a little bit farther, but that's pretty much it right there. So looking pretty good. Lots of storage space. And like I said, we'll, we'll cut some hatches out. Um, depending upon how I lay out each of the cabinet spaces, we'll cut some hatches in so we don't have to lift up this whole three quarter inch thick plywood. We'll just be able to lift the hatches out and get it in storage and stuff but if we do need to get in there these will come out um, so I didn't you know don't want to glue them in there but we could probably throw some screws down and fasten them but otherwise you know, they should be in pretty good shape so that's it for me today I'm gonna let this uh, this putty dry up tomorrow we'll sand and I'm kind of hungry and tired from yesterday so we're gonna call her a good day right now so well here I go again uh, just jumping into the work and forgetting to film uh <laughs> bar for the course with me i just i literally get just like beelined on a on a project and i just want to go and get it done uh so i forget i forget to film and i need to film so hey well while we're here uh might as well what am i doing at the moment uh well last night before i called her a day i filled in all the screw holes with some putty Looks like I got a couple spots to patch and repair, but otherwise, um, just gonna go through and run them, give them a quick sand, and then uh, I, I went shopping this morning. I picked up a bunch of uh, fittings and hose and whatnot to be able to hook in this uh, this fill fill box. So we've got a. Uh, 
we got a bulk fill and then we've got a city water connection uh, from the outside. So I got to cut a, another hole in the, in, the, in the van and get this fitted in and sealed and whatnot. And then on the back, we've got three fittings. Uh, there's the bulk, bulk fill. There's the city water, and this is a vent, uh, so that way the, the holding tank doesn't get bloated or sucked into oblivion. So we're gonna be working on that project next. We're gonna sort exactly where this um, water tank's gonna go. We're gonna secure it in place and start working on uh, fitting the plumbing and this box and whatnot. So, but I think for right now, I'm gonna carry on with the sanding and maybe route route over these edges because these are going to get beat up anyways uh, if I continue get these routed over and, and prepared and then maybe we can we can put our uh, support rails on for the table bed slash bed and then that much will be complete um, and we can carry on so all right so got these all uh Sand it back and round it off with the router. And I cut some uh, one by twos and did the same thing. Rounded them off, gave it a little light sand. Now these are going to go. These are going to go right there, um, about inch and a half down, and that's what the table is going to rest on. The table edges is going to rest on when we're in the bed mode. So uh, I can screw these on now. Get them all. Measure it up, screw it on, and then that'll be done.
Okay, so I've got everything I need to mount this um, drinking water holding tank. Uh, I made a wooden saddle to, um, to to nestle this in, and I got some Velcro that I'm going to use to secure it. And so then I'm just going to cut a couple of slots in there and feed that Velcro through, and then we'll screw this to the wall in the uh, cab over area, and then that'll be uh, that should be good. So that's what's just going to look like. Gonna get some screws in here. How much this probably holds about a gallon I would suspect I don't know exactly how heavy it's gonna be but should do it. Hopefully that uh, that holds it in place, and then this this just goes up into there, and that's it. That's the uh, that's the holding tank now for the, the drinking water. Some filtration systems down here. Uh, I do have one more line to run, which is the feed line to the main supply, but otherwise this area is fairly complete. I got still got to run. Oh, got to run the supply line and an electrical, but uh, but yeah, everything else is in pretty good shape. Whew. Thank you very much for tuning in. Be sure to check out next week's video. And if you like the content, be sure to like and subscribe.